Merry Christmas, everybody! Today I'm preparing a delicious roast chicken for two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to boil my potatoes first and I'm going to show you how to make really, really crispy but fluffy in the inside roast potatoes. The trick is to get russet potatoes. Okay, russet potatoes have um, this fluffy exterior or and interior when you cook them and the idea is to kind of cut them so that they have like really sharp edges Okay, so when you have sharp edges, you have crispy bits and here I have a pot of hot water and I'm just gonna put these in and I'm going to add in a generous amount of salt. Now, a lot of people forget to salt the water when they're boiling potatoes. That's when you get really bland and blah potatoes, okay? So don't forget to salt your water when you're boiling potatoes. Then we're just going to let that boil for about, you know, um, four to five minutes just until they're semi-cooked. So to flavour up our roast chicken and our potatoes, I'm going to use about six cloves of garlic. Roughly chop it. Okay, I'm going to mash it first because it's easier to chop. Okay, and here I have sprigs of thyme. Oh, it smells so good. And also, of course, rosemary. So obviously, the more herbs you use, the more delicious and fragrant it is. So I've got about... Uh, one tablespoon of thyme and about one tablespoon of uh, rosemary here. Chop up all the herbs along with the garlic. And that's going to create a really beautiful herb rub for our potatoes as well as our chicken. Now, the important thing about roasting a chicken and making sure that it's really nice and crispy is ensuring that your chicken skin is really dry. So make sure you pat it down dry after washing it so that it's kind of like when you touch it, it's kind of sticky. And then we're just going to season it with some salt. Okay, just to be a little bit generous with the salt because the salt actually helps crispen up the skin as well. And some crushed black pepper. I'm going to add in just a little bit of olive oil and the reason why I add in a little bit of olive oil is just to make sure that the, the rosemary and the garlic all kind of like sticks to the chicken, okay? So we're going to use half of this, put all these amazing herbs into the cavities, rub the salt all over it, tuck the wings inside and here I have some butcher string or cotton string and what I like to do is just tie the legs together. Now the reason why I do this is one, it saves a little bit of space but the second reason why is because it keeps all the juices of the chicken inside the cavities. So the potatoes look like they're perfect because we don't want to fully cook them, we just want them to be a little bit soft and they are so that's perfect. So you can turn that off. So get yourself a really big bowl and what you need to do is you just need to drop all the potatoes into your bowl. Okay, so now this is the trick to make really fluffy roast potatoes. Is you just need to shake the potatoes in your bowl. And when you see all that crusty kind of like fluffy exterior, that's exactly what you want to make that crispy outer layer of your roast potatoes. Okay, so that's really important. Okay, so to that, we're just going to add in the remainder of our garlic and herb mixture. We're going to season it with a little bit more salt. Some pepper as well. And because the potatoes have no fat, we do need to add in a little bit of fat, okay? Not too much, maybe about one tablespoon. We just mix everything up. Perfect. In our fried delight, all we need to do is add in our chicken. And on the sides, put in the potatoes. And there you have it guys, everything is in. And we just slide it in. We turn it for 30 minutes. 
at 170 degrees Celsius. And then we wait. After about 30 minutes, our chicken is smelling so delicious. And look at that. Yeah. So as you can see, the chicken is perfectly cooked. It's got a nice brown exterior. It's really hot, so just be careful when you're lifting it up. Oh, and the potatoes! It's crispy! So you can just line the side. All these beautiful, crispy on the outside potatoes, but fluffy on the inside. And that is what makes a perfect roast potato. I'm just gonna garnish it with some sprigs. Rosemary. Rosemary look really Christmassy as well. There you go guys, my perfectly cooked roast chicken and roast potato by just using my Fry Delight from Tifa. I'm going to have one. Mmm, that's so good.